Health aid has played a massive role in improving people's health around the globe. However, our current approach to aid is fragmented and prone to fluctuation. And this can sometimes cause problems for health systems in recipient countries. Highly cost-effective services are sometimes lost when aid funding dries up. So how can we do things differently? So let's focus on aid for health services. This image shows a typical unprioritized health benefits package. Each bar represents a health service. The height is the health benefit per dollar and the width is the cost. With evidence-informed prioritization of services, we can improve the design of health benefits packages and get more health for the money. But many of the high value services are relying on aid, putting them at risk and disrupting country financing. So what if countries could better own and deliver the core package of high value services? Then donors could coordinate their support to finance a top up package of services at the margin. This would allow countries to manage a robust core package of services that naturally crowds out aid as domestic budgets grow. This change flips the usual logic of priority setting on its head to powerful effect. It reduces volatility, allowing domestic financing to focus on the core package and protects the highest priority services from the fluctuations of aid investments. It reduces fragmentation as health aid is consolidated into a cohesive and manageable offer. Country health leaders are freed up to manage the health system rather than managing aid arrangements. It reduces displacement. Health aid is clearly now directed towards valuable health services that would otherwise not have been prioritized for investment by the National Ministry of Health. It improves prioritization. You'll be more health for the money, both for domestic and external sources. It creates a better exit strategy, a clearer and fair mechanism for reducing aid as country budgets grow or health aid reduces. And it underscores locally set priorities, giving country leaders more power to determine the health priorities for the populations they represent. This one simple change in how we think about aid has huge potential benefits. Effective, sustainable health systems must include stronger country ownership of those systems and their core services. The sooner that happens, the faster we can achieve true universal health coverage.